Hey guys, it's YouTube Halion. Before we get started on today's video, I just want to tell you about the new membership program we have here on YouTube. It allows you to subscribe and directly support me through YouTube for $2.99 a month. You get access to emotes and comments, and you get badges based on how many months that you've been a member. And you get priority reply in comments if you'd like to leave comments for me, which you should. Uh, so if you're interested in just helping support the channel and support me and allow me to keep doing this for a long time, go ahead and join up if you don't mind. Otherwise, no worries. Enjoy the content. No pressure there. And uh, that's it. Enjoy the video, and I'll check you guys later. And subscribe if you haven't already, would you? All right, guys. I'll see you later. Thanks. Guan Yu. Guan Yu speedrun. It goes down in pitch. I don't even know what that means, so... Guan Yu, but you need Splash Dash to start, right? Do you even bother with high confidence here? Honestly. Honestly, though. God, I haven't played this in so long. I've been around the block in some, yeah. We've been, we've been around the block. Um, the first speedrun I submitted to the leaderboards was February of 2019, so. Flash dash. Did I get the unseen rank? I did, yeah. I already had, I had enough darkness to start. We do this since we're doing in-game time. I missed it though? Yeah, there's a whole clip around it. Uh, That might be worth it. I was busy talking to chat, and I was used to just, uh... I'm gonna do this, I think. I was I was busy talking to chat, and I was used to, like, oh, yep, there's gonna be another rank right after this. Like, I didn't realize it was gonna be the last one. So I didn't listen to the dialogue or anything. Hammer. It's too bad I had to stop using my main save file, because it was kind of fun. To kind of like just accumulate all the runs, you know? Oh, well, well that's bad. Can't do that. that might be a rip. Yeah, it's, it's like charge skill or a bust, right? It's too bad because with that chaos boon, it would have been spicy. Okay. Uh, what's my fastest time ever? So, in game time, IGT, they usually call it. For 1.0 and beyond, I believe we have something a little under seven minutes. I don't remember. It might be like a 654 or 656 or something like that. Prior. Ooh, woo. Still. I'll keep it going then. Prior to 1.0, when seated runs... Oh shit, I forgot if my cast was bound to the wrong button. I can live with it, if I remember. Uh-oh. What else we got? Nice. My sense is dropping. Prior to that, I think I had something under four minutes in game time. But routing is so weird and different that you can't really compare, honestly. Because during early access, we allowed each other to, with, to what you call route a run, which means that you kind of plan out what you get offered, and you can actually replicate it in the run and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to explain quickly, but that's why you can't just hit give up, because it saves the seed. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Why did I have to change my save file? So if I want to do real-time speedruns, so my save file was so bogged down because it had over 2,000 uh, administrative record runs. That's the big issue there. It was so bogged down that it took longer to load every single chamber. I was willingly losing time by keeping using it. And while I could, like, when I do RTA runs, like, use that, don't use use a, a different save file, and then when I go back to, like, memes or something, I could uh, swap it back. But at the end of the day, it's like, I don't know, that's a bit too much of a hassle for me to bother with, probably. The, um, the save's still out there. I'll take it. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take that. Yeah, I'm not gonna roll it, though. Hope I didn't keep you waiting, lady. How's our in-game? Not great. 
No fountain, no boldy. One chaos kit, I think. Fuck, I forgot about my cast again. I can't even get one to lodge because of goddamn electric shot. Two twenty, it's not great. Bum, 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 bum. Move Hades to an SSD. I already have an SS SSD. For the top times, you you already have to have an SSD. I think I do that just to try to force Hunter's Mark quickly. You know what I mean? Going up. Yeah. How many runs before a save slows down? I mean, I don't, I don't really know. We'd have to ask like Elo or Seagull or something like that. Uh, I think it's a, an, an accumulative thing. So the more runs you have, the slower it's gonna be. So ideally, every day you do these attempts, you start with a new save file or something. Okay, more special damage. Is that Eurydice I just saw? Did I finish Boyfriend Dungeon? I did. It was good. It was fun. It's not Nectar, unless I do that for Hermes, maybe. I think it is Nectar for Hermes. I had to think about it. Hey, Carlos. Congrats on his six months sub. Andy gives it you six months, Carlos. You're all set for a while there, bud. Andy's spending his hard earned money. Whoa! There's not a whole lot Super Giant can do to fix the save file problem, I'd imagine. I would like none of these. Okay. Moving right along. Right. I'm sure there are some things they could try to work on it and improve it, like by small amounts. But yeah. Care on set uh. That's good. I think I like hydraulic might over razor shoals there. I think. This is actually a really good. Oh, it was a good Asphodel. Then I got my dick sucked. I'm, realistically, how many players do 2,000 plus runs? Well, that's the thing. It's not really worth their time. It is fun to go back and look at my save file because you can still go back to all of my early access runs on the in the administrative chamber and look at what it says about the run. And it's all weird and like glitchy and shit. Ah! My save file is available on like speedrun.com. It's there for weird experimentations and stuff. Okay. Hunter's Mark. Very good. Not now. Easter egg save file? Yeah, pretty much. All right, I have plus dashes. I don't know if I remember that. Suck my dick. What alcohol goes well with pizza? Probably just beer, right? I don't know if there's a hard liquor that is preferred there. It's gotta be a beer. I mean, I don't think beer, I mean, sorry, pizza just goes with everything. So it's not like a big deal, I think. You know, what do you guys think? I wanted that too. I think it's fine. I don't think you really need anything in particular. I think it's just more of a, what would you call it? Like a stereotype to get pizza and beer. Ooh. Now can I get Charged Skewer and Elysium? This isn't that bad considering I didn't get start Charged Skewer. Alcohol do be overrated. Yeah. Honestly, you're probably better off smoking pot. Assuming if it's legalized and it's not gonna prevent you from getting a job or something like that. Alcohol is just dangerous, you know? 
It has actual addictive qualities and shit. I do think like there's a whole gateway drug thing with uh marijuana which i actually do believe i personally you, you're welcome to disagree I, I do think it is a factor but i think alcohol still does the same thing i think alcohol basically d does the same thing these things artificially make you feel good you know you again. eating pot is best is it just eat it do I really do the mom thing here? What's in here? Special damage? What can I sell? No. Let's see what else. How the fuck was that mouse over the roll? Are you kidding me? Did you see that? I'll pay for that. The fuck? Do not inject your marijuanas either, yeah. If you're injecting anything, you know it's gone too far. Same thing with the snorts. I have literally never smoked a thing in my life. Besides a hot cock, maybe. Uh, and... Like, I've never even tried a vape. I feel like I'm just... I would look like the weird... Like, I already look enough like the... The how do you do fellow kids guy, but if I start smoking a vape It's only gonna get worse the fuck I can't really take serrated. It's just gonna fuck everything up. All right. I'm totally going anvil Wife and I sort of made a, j a joking vow to try pop before we're dead, though. You know, you gotta. There's also, like, we, like, we watched this whole documentary about magic mushrooms, and it kind of sold us that you should probably try magic mushrooms in a controlled environment once. Psilocybin or whatever. These people have these testimonies that say, like, it was the best thing that happened in their entire life and shit like that, you know? That it changed, re literally rewired their brain. It's just like, damn, I'm missing out. What was it? Someone had a horrible stutter. They did magic, a controlled amount of magic mushrooms once, and they no longer had a stutter. They had a horrible stutter for like the first half of their life. The stutter was gone. It's crazy. Now, I'm not gonna be the one that tell you guys to go try magic mushrooms. Do your own research or something. Read some Facebook posts. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh, you know what? Roll for the attack. Now we get Heartrend. I gotta say, like, conspiracy theories I've always found entertaining. But every now and then, like, I'll have a friend and we're joking about conspiracy theories. And then suddenly they start talking like they actually believe the conspiracy theory I thought we were joking about. And I'm just like... Favorite conspiracy? I used to crack up at the fucking chemtrails thing. The chemtrails was fucking hilarious, you know? I will say that video, all gas, no brakes. They go to a... Some kind of protest or some shit. Ooh, Patty. I forget it was a protest or a rally. And there's a guy waving a Trump flag. I like it how I say no politics on the stream. But here we are. And, uh... His... His line, his line to get people's attention was that Kobe Bryant was assassinated by the Clintons or something like that. And it's st <laughs> starting off strong, I gotta say. And that's gotta be one of my favorites because it, it's just like, where did, how'd you get there? You know, I wanna know the story. 
I, it, you got my attention, I gotta say. Didn't get it. Whatever. I saw an epic boon, I took an epic boon. Is that it? I think that's it. But can you prove for otherwise? That's usually the defense, right? Wow, that's ter terrible. I also kind of don't really get what that has to do with so many other things, if, even if you did think it, but all right, you know. But yeah, the chemtrail things was funny. Because I remember dealers caught pulling up YouTube videos of the people that were all about it. And what they did was they would see chemtrails in the sky. There was one video like this. They saw some chemtrails in the sky. So they got a spray bottle full of vinegar. Now these chemtrails are literally thousands of miles into the air. Maybe not thousands, a lot of miles in the air. They spray some vinegar in their backyard with the spray bottle. They come back, oh my God. Uh oh. Damn you, Guan Yu. I still won. I was telling too many stories. They sprayed some some distilled white vinegar into the air. They came and then they cut the video and they come back like supposedly 10 minutes later and like, see? The trails are gone. No more camp trails. Easy as that. Keep the government away using fucking vinegar in a spray bottle. I just don't get it, you know? I'm not someone that has a lot of common sense, I'll say. You know what I mean? I thought boomerangs were made up by fucking cartoons. Okay? But I have enough common sense to know that spraying bottled vinegar in your backyard isn't gonna solve shit. You know what I mean? You're probably just gonna attract fucking fruit flies now. I felt bad. There was one about the lady who claimed that Wi-Fi signals, I think it was Wi-Fi signals, like gave her migraines or, and some other things, like just like literally made her like physically ill, basically. So she paid contractors to come and line the inside of her house with like all sorts of this shit. Meanwhile, in the interview, these people have essentially took advantage of her, I'd say. By making her pay pay for this, you know, with was it with tinfoil? Yeah, I think it was before the five G thing, honestly. I think this is prior to five G. It's pretty old now. And then meanwhile, they're interviewing her for TV. And I think what they do. I think they told her like, okay, we're at a Wi-Fi signal range. They lied to her basically, and she's like, yeah, already I feel so much better. Yeah, I can tell my head my headache is so much better and shit like that. It's just like, oh my god, lady. I mean, was, was she just lonely, you think? I think she just wanted some loving. She needed some attention and this is what happened, you know? And then she's paying contractors to lie in her fucking house in tinfoil or something like that. How bad's our time? Oh, not even a sub 10. Is that a two sack though? Oh my God. Can I live through this fight? I did take Acorn now. I guess I'm taking that now. No SIBO effect. She really felt ill. She didn't lie about it. Is it brain magic brain shit? Yeah, I don't think she's lying. That shit happens to people, you know. But I, I, um, I don't think she just made it, fully made it up or something like that. But she convinced herself, you know, of these psychosomatics. Well, I guess I can't say she didn't fully make it up. You know, I just don't know. But I think a lot of people, they, they just choose to believe these things. Why didn't I, Meg? Great question. Don't die, Dan. How am I at full health? Do I have stubborn roots or some shit? This is gonna be a long ass fight. Didn't I get hit? What are you doing? Did 
dude. Whatever. Can you just do a spin or something? Well, now it's too late. Oh, I shouldn't have used that call. Oh, I didn't use the call. Oh, I have Acorn on. Duh. I'm an idiot. That's why I didn't take any damage. Come on, get up. Sub eleven. Can one of those hit? Thank you. Bonk him. It barely touched him. Oh god, why did that hurt so bad? Did I have boiling blood? I think I did. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, I never got charged, Skewer, you know? What a run. Twitch exclusive content? Yeah. Which exclusive right there for you, chatties? Ugh. I tried. You really... You really gotta get that charge skewer going, you know? That, that's why we lost. Hey, YouTube. Make sure you come visit my Twitch streams for all the best cursed content ever at twitch.tv slash every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, starting at 12 p.m. EDT.